I thought towards the end of the both sets, I, I managed to find uh, an extra gear and um, come up with, um, with some important play, uh, aggressive play. And, uh, you know, uh, I think I won maybe a couple of points more than him in the match, so that, that, <clears throat> that says enough about how even, you know, this encounter was. And uh, I think um, the last 20 minutes of the match was a very high quality of tennis. Um, entertaining, of course, for the crowd, for, for us players as well. Novak, you've won 15 straight sets against Rafa now. Just wondering what you think it is that gets you over the line consistently when there are set points against, when there are these very close sets. What is it that's the extra something that may, has made the difference so many times? And not all the sets have been close, but when it has been, it's, it's always gone your way. Well, I think, <clears throat> I think towards the end of the both sets, uh, I start to, pl to return and play with a little more purpose, you know, where... Um, uh, midway through both sets, I, you know, I, I, I didn't take the initiative uh, first, and and uh, I, I wanted to be wanted to be more aggressive. Um, you know, whenever the ball is shorter, to take advantage of it. It's easier said than done, considering the conditions in which we played. It was <clears throat> tornado on the on the on the court, and it was really hard to uh, to control the ball and, and find the right balance. But in this kind of conditions, <clears throat> playing against Rafa, it's, it's, it's an, an additional, I think, uh, obstacle and challenge. So, um, but having said that, I, I still managed to, manage to find that um, aggressivity and, and, and purpose, kind of like purpose playing tennis um, towards the end that, that allowed me to, to dictate the play, which you need to do, you know, if you want to win against Rafa on any surface, especially on clay. <clears throat>